Hello everybody. I'm really excited. I get to show you Smart PLS 4. I got an early access look at this and they asked me to make some videos. So here we are. Now by the time you see this, the interface may have changed, but if this is the screen you're presented with when you first open it, it says you need to select a workspace. You have not yet selected a workspace. So we need to choose a workspace. This is just the place where Smart PLS will put all the files that it generates as you're doing your analyses. So go find a place. I'm just going to stick mine in documents and then I'll create a new folder called Smart PLS 4. And this is where it's going to stick all of my documents for this software. Select folder and now I have an active workspace. From here I can create a new project. I can import some of the projects that they've already created. In fact, let me show you that. We'll just do this very basic one, TAM, install. And here is the example project, including the data and the model. Now let's say I wanted to import a project that I had produced in Smart PLS 3. How could I do that? You would go up to Files, and then go to Import from Folder. And you could browse to your previous Smart PLS 3 workspace. The default for that is over in your Users folder. So let me go to my C operating disk and then go to Users. For me, it's JGaskin. And then if I scroll down, I'll see Smart PLS workspace. This is from before. If I select that and then hit Select Folder, it shows me all of the PLS projects I had in that folder and I can go ahead and select all and import. Now I have all of my projects from before already loaded in Smart PLS 4. And so that's how you get up and running with Smart PLS 4. In the next few videos, I'll explore the interface, show you some cool new features, and walk you through some very basic functionality.